So let me guess, you've been observing your aquarium, usual routine, but for your unpleasant surprise you found a little inhabitant that's not really supposed to be there. Yes, planaria, small white or brownish creature that bugs our eyes every single time we look into our beautiful fish tanks. So what are these little creatures, should we be worried about them and how can we get rid of these guys? Well, we'll go through it all in this video. Planaria is small flatworming genus of planarians that usually lives at the bottom of the ponds. It's unfortunately also widely spread in the aquarium hobby and it can easily hitchhike into any aquarium. If you do not have shrimps or shrimplets, these guys will be completely harmless, but if you do, you should definitely get rid of them. Getting rid of planaria may be really difficult. The interesting part about this little creature is that unlike any other animal, it can completely regenerate itself. This means that even if you mechanically split planaria onto many small pieces, each individual piece is able to regenerate itself, its brain, its head, its eyes and tail, and in around 12 days you have a completely new one. How they're able to do that is bugging scientists for a long time, but let's get back to the topic of this video. If you have aquarium with only fish, planaria will be completely harmless for them. The only aquarium inhabitants that are in danger are small shrimplets, which may be harmed by planaria. In my aquarium I personally only have fish and snails, but I wanted to get rid of these little buggers just because they are not really visually pleasing and I don't really want them in my tank. Using chemicals usually is the last thing that I want to do in my aquariums and therefore after some research I came across planaria trap. I've ordered it from Aliexpress, but you can literally find it all over the internet and get it delivered to your doors pretty quickly. One of the main reasons why planaria usually overpopulates in our aquariums is overfeeding and as I have quite large population of snails I don't really spare when I feed, as I know all leftovers will be eaten by snails. This is of course great environment for planaria and they have really been thriving here. I've also observed that from everything I've been feeding, they particularly enjoyed frozen brine shrimps. I've therefore set up planaria trap with frozen brine shrimp and put it into my aquarium. The way it works is that planaria will find its way in as it will follow the smell of the brine shrimp, but it won't be able to get out as the entrances are conical shaped and even though these guys have nervous system, eyes and brains, they are not really that smart to escape. Getting rid of planaria really is long run rather than sprint and it took me a long time to do that. Even when I thought I already got rid of them, there seemed to be still new ones hatching and I simply could not wipe them out completely. I've been removing the trap every other day to clean it and set it up again with new frozen brine shrimps and of course there have been still less and less caught, but even after two weeks I was still catching some. After approximately a month it finally seemed I had no planaria left and I started feeding the thing sparingly, but after a short while I found some planaria again. I was really frustrated and I have decided to take the whole tank down, disinfect it and start it all over again. After I've done that I have not experienced any planaria issue ever again and I really hope it's gonna stay that way. So the answer to the main question of this video whether planaria trap really works is yes, however I would not really say it is a tool that will help you get rid of these little buggers completely. You can definitely give it a shot and if you'll be a bit more patient than me, you may have better luck but for me it simply did not solve the issue completely and it was not efficient enough. Thank you very much guys for watching and I hope you found this video useful. If you have experiences with fighting planaria, please let me know which method works the best for you so I can learn something new as well. If you enjoyed the video and you like fishkeeping content, please consider subscribing.